I created a brand new chess.com account. It literally has the lowest rating. My goal is to become a chess master. Join me on my journey to raise that rating. Welcome to the first episode of Raise That Rating. I'm be playing very aggressive chess, fun openings that would get my pieces out super quickly and try and attack my opponent. So let's play in that style. Let's get a game started. All right, we got a game, finally. <laughs> he, he's offering me a draw. Wait, what is going on here? I'll probably will play one of my favorite chess openings. And that chess opening, well, I already won. Yeah, I have already gained 50 points. Well, <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying guys. You know, that was super hard. You know, if my opponent plays, uh, okay, B4. Wow, crazy move there. All right, well, we're just gonna continue developing the pieces and we'll see what happens. B4 is a, a very weakening move and also bringing the bishop out to A3 looks a little silly looking um, because of the, well, <laughs> the bishop's just blocked on A3. Okay, so let's get the bishop out and we're going to push the pawn up to E6 next, potentially, to try and take advantage of that bishop being on A3. And also wanna develop my pieces harmoniously, right? We'll see what our opponent does. Okay, he develops his queen. Obviously, you've heard that saying, don't bring a queen out early. That usually applies to almost any uh, rating range. And this one is no exception. I think we're just gonna start with a move like e6. e6 is a supernatural move. It defends the bishop. It opens my other bishop. It kind of creates like this pseudo pin on the, the bishop here. Okay, our opponent's playing very aggressively. Queen to g5. Maybe eyeing our g7 pawn, but we have it defended. Our knight's protected on f6. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give the queen a good old kick. I was gonna potentially play a move like knight to e4, but obviously I don't want my queen to be captured on d8. So we're gonna go for the simple choice of just kicking the queen. Shoo, get away, move, get out of here, right? And we'll see what the queen does. I'm thinking also I want to develop my knight to c6. Maybe even play a move like a5 to challenge that structure on this side of the board. That's the problem with playing a move like b4 is that you open up some weak squares. For example, like c4, you open up potentially b5 or a4. And all of these light squares are weak. Okay, so we do have this potential pawn to capture on c2. We could go for the greedy approach. We could also go for the aggressive approach of trying to bring our pieces into our opponent's side of the board with knight to e4, again, attacking the queen. It's the reason why you don't bring it out early. Think about this. I think we should just capture this pawn. Good move from our opponent, developing his knight. Now take advantage of this bishop. I wanna develop it in general, but the queen being here is very sneaky. It does hack the g7 pawn. So the bishop is kind of needed to stay here a little bit for, for the meantime. But I do wanna try and take advantage of this pin that I have. And so, I have two different ideas that I could go for here. I'm thinking either knight to c6, uh, knight to c6 here, to attack both pawns, uh, creating a fork, or playing a move like a5, pile up on these pieces here. So a bunch of good options. Let's start with a5. I think this is a very simple idea. He, he attacks our bishop. We probably want to move it. Where to though? If we go to f5, I think that's probably a simple idea. At some point, our opponent might even play an aggressive move like knight b5. So we do have to be kind of careful about that. We could also drop the bishop back to g6, which in turn would stop the queen from attacking this g7 pawn. I think that's actually going to be a pretty decent idea to play for. Let's drop the bishop back to g6. Just to uh, stop the queen from eyeing this g7 pawn, and obviously move our bishop from, the, uh, from being under attack. I think that's a really sensible move, and it's a simple one too. Let's see what our opponent is gonna come up with next. He does have to kind of deal with the tension on this B4 spot. And that's the one of the important things about chess is that you wanna get all your pieces out and you want to start trying to create tactics. And this one being no exception, this is a pin, pinning that, pinning that uh, pawn to the bishop. And what do we do to pin pieces? Well, we add pressure to them, right? We attack them again and it's, it's awkward, it's an awkward position. Now, what if our opponent tries to go for this aggressive knight b5 move, putting pressure on our c7 pawn? I think we have a simple response to that. Um, what do you guys think? After knight b5, what should we play? What should we play? 
We could go c6, but the problem with c6 is that he has knight c7, right? So that doesn't actually end up working. I think the simple response is just to play knight to a6. And our position looks pretty good. We're defending um, the c7 pawn. And at some point, we'll be able to kick the knight away with c6 or maybe even play bishop to d6 um, now that the queen cannot see the g7 pawn. So we'll keep going. This has been a good game so far. Our opponent has played way better than his rating. Um, and I'm very impressed. Okay, knight to f3. He doesn't address the threat on his position. So let's first toss in a move. I want to take this pawn on d4 and just give a fork. But let's toss in a move like bishop to d6, hitting the queen. And then we'll go ahead and capture the pawn on b4. I think that's a little bit more accurate than playing um, takes on b4 immediately, but I think that's just a stylistic thing. At, at the end of the day, taking on b4 is going to win you a piece. And our opponent makes a fatal blunder. Obviously, we can play what now, guys? Yep. Simply capture the queen. And this is the thing at lower levels is that you just need to avoid blundering. Simple moves, simple chess is going to get it done at this level. And pr pretty much any level below 1,000, as long as you play simple, instructive moves, you're going to be winning 99.9% .9 of your games, as long as you don't blunder. So, yep, our opponent gives us the, the rook. Oops, I actually had a checkmate on c1. <laughs> I had queen take c1 checkmate. Oops, 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 oops. All right, well, blunder, 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 blunder. But anyway, it'll be checkmate very, very soon here. King has to go to d1, and then probably just something like, the simplest would be just knight takes c3 to control the c2 square, and then to play something like bishop f4, and then queen takes f1. That would be the simplest, but our opponent's going to run out of time here, and we end up winning. Um, that was a good game. Good game. I really enjoyed this one. Simple. And we obviously went up, as you can see, to 187. So that's actually really nice. Play our opponent's moves in the very opening stages of the game weren't the greatest. He gave us the pawn on c2 and then allowed us to start trying to create attacks on these pieces, especially this undefended bishop on a3. So that was the big issue with this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Raise That Rating. I will post more of these in the upcoming days and weeks. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.